What's up guys, thank you so much for tuning in. So for today's video, I will be showing you guys my set workout routine, what I do to grow my legs. The best workouts that I like to do to grow my legs. I know the last video I posted, I didn't like do everything correctly. Now I know exactly how to do these workouts, so it's gonna be much easier, you know, for me, and it's not gonna take too long. Really quickly, I'm gonna show you guys my diet. So before I work out, or like every morning, usually I do um, oatmeal, peanut butter oatmeal, and these are the oats that I use, rolled oats, extra thick, and I usually put some cinnamon sugar in there, and like a tablespoon of this. And I use silk milk, almond milk. Oh, and I'll do some protein bar on top, and it's really good, it's really delicious. It's a really great boost of energy before I do my workouts. Anything else I eat before I work out will make me very tired. I'm about to make my pre-workout, and I'm just gonna use regular water, and this is what I like to use. This stuff is really good. It kicks in really fast. I like the taste of it because it's sour. I don't like the um, chocolate or vanilla flavor type pre-workout type stuff. I like the sweet stuff and the sour stuff. So this is really good. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. Okay, and usually throughout my workout, I'll be having this. And usually I like to go in with another bottle of water just because this is a lot of sweetness for me and I sometimes I can't handle it. So when you combine this with another bottle of water, you get a bottom workout. And these are the shoes that I like to work out in just because they're flat and so it works really good for me when I'm doing my squat. I don't know how much of a difference it is, but I like using these better than my Nikes. Follow me into the garage so I can show you this bomb workout. Generally, before I like to do my workouts, I like to do like a warm up, and that is me usually figuring out what I want to do. So I like go around the gym, <laughs> my garage, and just try out different exercises and see what I feel is giving me a good burn and it's helping me, you know, scope out my legs. So that's usually my warm up before I figure out what I'm going to do. And then I just use that system that I do. So, and I write it down and I'll do it like maybe four to three to four times. But recently I've been stretching and that's been very helpful. So I'm about to do a couple of stretches. No, I'm not a professional stretcher. I don't, per I don't, not a gymnast, I don't stretch. But I do a lot of stuff because my legs, you know, my hamstrings do get strained a little bit. So stretching is always good for legs. So let's get it, let's go. Today, we're gonna do like sort of an old workout that I had recently. So I have lunges 10 per leg. So I'm gonna have my 20 pounds. They're both 20 pounds, so 20 and 20. And the lunges go very simple, back straight, and you just wanna go down. Just go down. My legs are good. Spread, straight, leg down, leg down, leg down. I'm gonna do 10 on each leg of that, and then I'm gonna do 20 heel raises with both 20 pounds and 40 pounds. I'm gonna do 20 of those, and then together squats, which is like my legs together. These ones are pain, so you wanna keep your legs together at least a little bit. I think I'm gonna have them over my shoulders like this, and I'm gonna have my back straight, and just squat down, boom. Squeeze. Boom, like that. And if I don't do the 10 together squats, then I'm gonna do the sumo squats, just like this. And then you have the, have both 20 pounds like this. And then I'm just gonna go down as low as possible, boom. Go down as low as possible, boom. And the next thing is gonna be my 10 per leg elevated lunges. You don't want too high of elevation, but you know, you can, but like you're not supposed to. It's not always beneficial to go too high. So for these, you're gonna have your legs elevated right here. And then I'm gonna do this, have this leg pointed at all times. Keep my back straight. And then just go down. I don't know what's wrong with this leg. I'm gonna have to stretch it out. Up, back straight, down, 
down, down. Let's get into it, Ta. I just realized I didn't explain the last thing I'm gonna do for my um, cycles. So I just did the lunges, and then, I think those were reverse lunges, but I just did the lunges, and then I did, did the heel raises, and then I did the together squats, so that's three things. And then I'm gonna do my elevated lunges, and then after that I'm gonna do, I don't know the exact name for it, I'm just calling, I just call them juke squats, because like, because it's like you're not really doing a full, pop-up squat, you're just going to be like this, you know? I call them like juke squats because you're not just like, boom, you're juking it out. So that's all we're going to do. But now I'm going to finish up doing what I'm doing and, you know, keep the cycle going because we don't need to be taking these long breaks. Do my elevated lunges and we're about to get into it, y'all. battery died and had to get a new one. Oh, sweat is annoying. My phone died when I was doing them right. Like I literally found a way where my leg doesn't hurt. Ugh. Oh geez, man. It's torture. All right, so the key to these is you're using all the power on your elevated leg. You're not using the power on your the opposing leg. The thing is you wanna just drop down with your body. Don't go, don't let your knee go over the tip of your toe back straight, so you wanna use this lift to go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So yeah, we got it. I'm convinced that this sweat is abnormal. This don't make no sense. Like, my hand is soaked. Like, oh my God, Jesus, man.
is definitely a killer. Let me cut this fan off. This workout is no joke. I am in pain. My legs are so tight right now. Like, this is how I'm walking for the rest of the week. Stick. I've cut legs. Oh my God. That, y'all know those big red ants? I'm gonna insert a picture right here. I just saw one of those and I ain't seen one in a minute. Guys, this workout was so intense, but I'm so glad I did it. I definitely feel the burn. You will feel the burn if you do all of these. I did everything four times. The highest I went for certain stuff is like 15, 20. Cause like I did, you know, boost myself a little bit more, you know, like try to push my limits. So I want to say I did roughly 45 of everything. So I did 45 uh, together squats, 45 lunges on each leg, 45 of the elevated lunges, and then 45 of the juke squats, whatever they're called. I did roughly 95 of the heel raises. So guys, I am killed. I am done. The rest of this week, I'm gonna take it very easy. I'm just gonna use my 20 pounds and I won't do as many intervals or as many of the workouts that I did. I did five workouts, so this is a lot. This is an intense workout and it definitely woke up these quads. Guys, if you wanna work out your quads, try this, try this workout, like literally. Where I find my workouts is, if you check out Hannah Oberg on Instagram, Oberg, um, I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name, but if you check her out on YouTube and on Instagram, she posts bomb, um, quad workouts if you want to work out your quad she does arms abs everything you can possibly think of she does it and then i do some stuff that i've seen asleya williams do so you can check her stuff out as well her quads are literally goals hers and hannah's literally goals like her my quad goals are these people those two that i just listed and also is this girl is this lady named kima russo you check her out on instagram oh my gosh guys her legs are freaking amazing she has really great workouts as well, and as well as the Queen Britain Babe. If you check her out, woo! Guys, we'll totally feel the burn with all of them. Those are all my quad goals. Like, I want my quads to be big. Like, ghetto. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like. Comment down below any video suggestions that you may have. Comment any of these workouts that you've tried or that you are going to try and that you like. And follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Mike's Wendy. I post bomb high quality photos on there. Sometimes I do my um, leg workouts on my story, so definitely follow me for that. And you know, just interact with me. I'm very nice and I love to talk to people. So, um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm not a fan of a strong upper body, but I will be working on that sometime in the future. I just want my legs right now to just get to the point that I, where, I, where I want them to be. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I love all of you guys for subscribing to me and liking my videos and supporting me. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for 600 subscribers. We're so close to 700. Thank you guys so much again, and peace.